The start of the Superbike race with Carl Fogarty and Robert Dunlop getting away first. Into York for the first time. Fogarty on the Honda leads. Robert Dunlop is next. Trevor Nation is third with Joey Dunlop in fourth. As all of the field get around safely. At university, it's Robert Dunlop from Fogarty, and Joey is up to third. The leaders at Bally Sally, and just look at Fogarty using every inch of the road, trying to take Dunlop, who keeps him at bay, with the pack right on their tail. Down into the Metropole, and Dunlop has opened a gap. Carl Fogarty is second, Joey is third, but Trevor Nation is pointing. Is something wrong with Dunlop's Honda? Robert Dunlop is first into Church Corner. But there's disappointment as Joey appears to be touring. Trevor Nation was right, the Honda is obviously having problems. At Juniper, Robert gets round, but Fogarty overshoots to lose precious time. At the end of lap one, it's Dunlop on the Norton in front, and the crowd is buzzing, but Fogarty is on his tail. They've opened up a gap, and next through, it's McCallum, Nation, Duffus, Laycock, Ian Young, and Nick Jeffries. But a Noy League has forced Joey Dunlop to retire. The battle at the front approaches York Corner, with Fogarty spotting the gap to take the inside and the lead. At the University, it was Dunlop back in front. But the Norton's acceleration through the speed trap has taken Dunlop well clear of Fogarty at the Metropole. After Fogarty, there's another gap until the chasing bunch arrives with Nation, Laycock, McCallan, Duffers, and Young. And Jeffries is still trying to keep in touch. Around the church, it's Dunlop well clear, with Fogarty's back wheel twitching as he tries to catch the leader. At Juniper, Nation is third, but Laycock overshoots to lose fourth place. At the start and finish, Dunlop is still the race leader, but Fogarty's Honda is still close at hand. And as the fans wait, they pick up Trevor Nation in third. Philip McCallan is now fourth. Eddie Laycock's mistake at the Juniper chicane has relegated him to eighth place. Into York again. And with Dunlop's right hand working over time, he's still got the edge on Fogarty. Trevor Nation is still third, but McCallan is in his slipstream. Young and Duffus are next through, followed by Jeffries and Laycock. At Bally Sally, it's still Dunlop in front, but the other Norton is in trouble as Trevor Nation tours round his race looks to be over. At the Metropole, Dunlop is still dictating the terms, and he's opened a gap on Carl Fogarty. The leaders go through Church Corner. It looks now like a two-horse race. Back at Metropole, McCallum leads the dice for third place. Laycock goes through in sixth spot. Nick Jeffries has been dropped to seven. The race leader at Juniper. And there's quite a gap before we see the second man, Carl Fogarty. But it's quite a tussle for third place as McCallum dives inside Ian Young. The leader, looking very smooth, goes through the start and finish. Fogarty is still second, but Young has taken third spot from McCallum. Laycock is sixth.
Dunlop takes York. And here we see him showing plenty of style at the Magic Roundabout. McCallan is back up to third. Laycock is now fifth. And at the Metropole, it's Laycock in third place. Dunlop takes Church Corner again. But Fogarty is still there. The world champion certainly isn't giving up. At Juniper, Ian Young goes straight on. McCallan is now fourth. The leader starts his fifth lap. Dunlop and the Norton are looking very good. Here's Fogarty and a quick look behind. The problem is up front, I think, Carl. This is Laycock in third, taking York. McCallan and Duff is fourth and fifth, and Young is back in sixth. The leader at university. And on the approach to the roundabout, the local fans are certainly enjoying this. So too is Robert. And as he looks ahead to starting his last lap, Robert must realize that barring problems or a mistake, the race will be in the bag. Fogarty, though, is still giving chase. The leader at Juniper for the fifth time. Dunlop starting his last lap, and we can see the gap here as Fogarty leaves the chicane. There he is, and turns on the par. A pensive look from Norton boss Barry Simmons. Laycock is third, despite the slide. McCallan comes round in fourth. Ian Young is fifth. Duffus is sixth. The leader changes down to take your corner for the last time. At the roundabout, the line is perfect as he heads for the speed trap. In practice, he'd gone through there at 189 miles per hour. Fogarty still gives chase. At Church Corner, the programs are being waved. Dunlop is on his way to victory. And the challenge of Carl Fogarty has petered out. He's well back. The fans are cheering again as the Black Norton safely negotiates Juniper. And there's quite a wait for Fogarty, but second place will be his. Eddie Laycock will have to settle for third. So a first superbike win at the Northwest for Robert Dunlop and a Norton win over the triangle course for the first time since 1965. And Robert fully deserved the hug. Smiles all round then from the Norton camp and a great ride from the wee man. But just look at the damage to that back tire. Robert, first Norton win for 25 years. How do you feel? Ah, it's brilliant, Jackie. <laughs> I can't believe it. You got off to a flyer, didn't you? Yeah, well, Carol got a good start and I said, I'll just stay with him here. I passed him up the street and then Carol passed me somewhere else and then I went past him again and I seemed to be able to pull away from there. You must have been aware all the time that he was right behind you or near enough. Oh, certainly, I mean, Liam was giving me a good, good lap board, so, no, nah, it's no problem. And the bike, obviously, was handling beautifully. Yes, it handles really good when you've got two hands in the bars, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> when you let one off to look back to see where the opposition is, it wiggles a wee bit. You may not be aware, but you've got a new lap record as well. Yeah, I thought maybe may something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't think it was going that quick, actually. Good start of the day, though. Looking forward to the 125. Oh yeah, just hope for another one there. <laughs> well done.